Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I want to talk to you about Aurora SGR 2018 versus Lightroom CC. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Sergio Germany. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the incredible city of Paris, France. But right now, I am in Aruba. And in Aruba, I took a lot of photos. I've always dreamed to come to this island. I was there when I was much younger. And now that I'm a photographer, I always wanted to come back to some of the nicest beach in the world I hear. And, you know, I've been trying a lot of different techniques, retouching only with Lightroom, retouching only with Aurora. And I thought, why not compare the different two options that we have? And why not give you some of my best secret workflow? Well, here you are. Welcome to Aruba. All right, guys. So welcome to Aruba. So let me show you some of the techniques I've been using and the photos that I got. Um, you know, when I take a uh, landscape, I try to look for a cool foreground element. So I walked for miles on Eagle Beach, Palm Beach, uh, Arashi Beach, all these beautiful beach in Aruba. Eagle Beach is actually, this beach was voted top best three in the world or something. I mean, they keep saying that. I don't know if it's true. And finally, I found these amazing trees here. Actually, I found them with my iPhone. This is the original day I found them. Look at that beautiful trees and you know it's funny because i always shoot at sunset and sunrise this is an iphone photo and uh, i you know i realized that when you shoot a uh, nice sand it's kind of cool to shoot during the day because you, you you get a wider sand when it comes to the night what happens is that look at the sand it becomes very muddy because you get all the shade from the people walking during the day from you know it becomes like a very annoying texture anyways i found this tree and i was gonna you know take photos but all of a sudden there was a big wedding apparently it's like a tradition in the island they have a big wedding between the two trees so i said you know what i'm going to stick around i was trying to catch the trees without the weddings and the sunset was like really kind of boring uh you know because there was this one cloud that came over and i was like kind of sad and i was about to leave when all of a sudden uh, the wedding went over they, they went on the side taking photos and i could at least frame the you know some of the trees but something miraculously happened. And that is that the sky just got incredible. And this is something I realized is that, let me show you the retouch result in Lightroom. Sometimes after sunset, what happens is that you have, you know, the sun goes behind the horizon and you still get a great sky. So I try shooting this with two lens because I broke my 1635, so I only had a 14 millimeter. And uh, so let me see. And I had a 24 to 40. This is a 24 to 40. This is the uh, and this was with a 14 millimeter. Uh, in the end, I think I'm going to show you how I retouch this photo. So that's the Lightroom version. But I think we can do even better than that using Aurora. And we're going to compare when it's done. I'll, I'll show you the workflow. So this is a trick that I found a while back with working with Aurora that I like to do. And not many people do it. I remember I showed this while I was uh, helping Trey Ratcliffe in New Zealand on, on a workshop. And he was like, oh, I never thought about doing that. I was really proud because he's like the master of HDR. He developed it Aurora. And here is a secret workflow. But please, please, please tell no one. Only people following this YouTube channel. So what I do is I open up the shadows a little bit. Not too much, not 100, just a little bit. Bring down the highlights. I do a little bit of white and a little bit of black. It just gives a little bit more. And especially on this one, that's kind of dark. I'm maybe going to open up the shadows even more. Then I pick my... Um, my white balance, I'm going to go to my usual formula, which is shade and add a bit of uh, magenta because people call me Mr. Magenta, as you might know. And I think I'm going to go here and I'm going to make a little circle uh, close to the tree and I'm going to invert the mask. I'm going to feather it and I am going to go to exposure to put everything onto zero. And I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow and magenta, maybe a bit of exposure, not too much, just a little bit. And you see how it's affecting the tree there? I don't want that. So check this out. We have this new option in Lightroom, which I love, which is called Range Mask Off. You see, look how the tree has been let. If I go to Luminance and I move Range to the right, you see how what I'm doing is uh, back is only affecting uh, the sky. I only want this to affect the sky, actually. And voila. So it's just a very, very small retouching. Then what I do is I synchronize what I did here with all this. Oh, you know what? There is a, a spot here. I might as well take it out while I'm at it. Okay. And I think I did a really poor job with that. Sometimes they go 
they are really hard to take out. Okay, good. So now I'm going to synchronize, check all, synchronize. So I'm synchronizing the retouch, and it's mainly for the white balance and for doing a little bit of contrast. But I find when you do that, uh, you get a more interesting result. So uh, then I'm going to right click. I'm actually going to give you this photo so you can see for yourself. I'm going to export into Aurora. HDR 2018, but you got two options, open source files or edit a copy with Lightroom adjustment. I'm going to take edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. And by the way, guys, if you bought Aurora HDR just when it came out, there was a connection problem because of the release of Lightroom CC Classic. Adobe changed the, uh, the directory where plugins are. So they did an update two weeks after. So make sure you have the latest version of Aurora 2018 if you want to do that. I love so much that software. It's unbelievable. I think, you know, with Lightroom uh, is just an amazing combination. All right, so we are in Aurora, and before we launch the software, there is a hidden option you need to do because there is leaf involved. It's a tree, so you have to go here and click on Ghost Reduction. So Ghost Reduction, what it's going to do is, instead of blending all three photos for the leaf of the tree, uh, because the leaves of the trees are different from one photo to the other, it's going to take one photo as a stable data. And in this one, it's going to take the minus two uh, no, sorry, the zero EV, which is fine uh, as as a stable data. This one works the best. Amount medium is fine, and I'm going to click on chromatic aberration removal and on alignment, and then I'm going to create HDR. So by you know doing the chromatic aberration, it's going to take these little fringes and taking the underexposed photo as a stable data for anything that's moving. It's just going to make sure that you treat your leaf doesn't look weird. I've seen so many. HDR photo on the web that I have like leaf that look like drawing is because they didn't use that option. So let's wait until it loads here. All right, so here we are in Aurora and we are ready to rock and roll. So what I advise you to do is you can just go here into the preset category and use the Surge Remedy preset. Surge Remedy preset is here and that's what I use. I use my own preset all the time. And on this one, I'm going to go to Photo Surge Basic, maybe as my basic preset. Uh, which is already the one that's loaded. And, you know, I we need to do some more things with, to make this photo even pop even more. So usually I leave the basic settings on the bottom layer and then I'm going to go here to plus and I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. And on this adjustment layer, I'm going to take another preset I created called um, Photo Surge Sunset Look. Boom. And that is a pretty crazy look that I really love. And I just build it on top of that. Uh, you know, I think that's about it. Sometimes what I do is I click here and I click another adjustment layer and I go for photo search details. Now detail is not nice, but it could be kind of cool on a tree. So then I take this brush here, I click on brush. And you see, I got a brush, right? And the brush, it says here paint. But right now the effect is off. And as soon as I'm going to paint, so let me just reduce the size. Maybe let's boost in a little bit the, uh, let's go with like maybe 100%. I just want to add a little more details here on this beautiful tree. I just want to add details here and only on this beautiful tree because I just love how this tree looked. Actually, let me just make the size slightly bigger. And, you know, it's just adding a little bit of details of HDR details here. But I kind of like that just on the tree, nothing else. Okay, good. So now let me go back to fit to screen. All right, and I love it, uh, but I'm not finished. I'm not finished, so I'm gonna click here on apply, and I'm going to go back into Lightroom. Now guys, if you don't have a copy of uh, Aurora, uh, they just got voted the best app 2017 by Apple, believe it or not. Best app on the App Store. And so you can download it. They have a special price that they did for that. And the link is below this video. You can uh, purchase it from there. You'll get a great price. You get like a huge discount right now because they are so happy to be uh, the best app of 2017. They didn't expect it at all, I don't think. Anyways, it's a great app. It really is a great app. All right, so we are back in Lightroom, and uh, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open up, maybe just add a little bit of contrast, open up the shadows a little bit more. I'm going to crop the photo. So I do like a little double development really quick into Lightroom, and uh, maybe, you know, use a little gradient here 
to make a little gradient but I want this to be dark just uh, because the sand is not that nice maybe just not around the tree just so we focus even more the attention on the tree and uh, voila so let me show you I'm gonna press C on the left oh sorry on the right is my HDR version and on the right is my Lightroom CC only version and uh, I don't know it is something about it that I really like with the HDR how I got the colors to pop even more uh, I love the radiance here in the sky I mean I like the Lightroom version but I don't like so much the tree how it is there I think the Aurora did a better job on this one but you know I use both I'm a lazy person because sometimes this this time I did some bracketing but sometimes I don't bracket and when I don't bracket I use my you know signature preset which you can have for free a, a few of them including this one for free check this out so I created presets for every time of the day five presets for blue hour five presets so blue hour is after sunset which is kind of now so I can try that I could I could click that and see how it looks yeah uh, actually this is not this is a sunset sorry this one is a pure sunset so I created for five for blue hour five for day five for golden hour five for known exposure five for night photography five for snow photography and five for sunset and sunset uh, I clicked on snow it's not good and boom I'm gonna click on sunset and it should be a lot better because it's an actual sunset the Sun was check that out boom and I think on this one the only thing is remember a preset is only a starting point if you buy my preset you will get all my preset for $27 all 27 of them including uh, tutorials on how to use them uh, there is like a lot of tutorials on how to use the preset how to install them it's all there this is something I added a couple of weeks ago actually because I was sending the preset without tutorials and I realized some people had some difficulty and now people are really enjoying it so I just made the bottom a little brighter and I just want to cut this because there's a rule in photography you don't leave something like half in half out I'll probably clean that up in Photoshop but in one click not so bad not so bad what do you say so that's the before and that's the after with one click isn't that marvelous voila so get my signature preset if you didn't get them you will love them I promise you I spent so many months building these presets you know if you don't know how to use Lightroom you can just click on them and you will have fun and check out our HDR best software by Apple in 2018 and I think it's completely worth it all right guys I hope you like this episode and I want to invite you to my Los Angeles workshop I'm doing a workshop in February Los Angeles it's my first one there there's still a few seats left and it's going to be amazing we're going to be in Santa Monica in a beautiful hotel we're going to be shooting uh, downtown Los Angeles we're going to go shoot the Griffiths Park and the amazing view over downtown Los Angeles from the Griffiths Park we are going to go to El Matador Beach one of the nicest beach in California and we're also going to go and do the Venice Canal and Venice Beach it's going to be an amazing experience so if you're in Europe you're cold you want to come with me in warm Los Angeles in February you are welcome Anyways, if you can't come to one of my workshops, I've got a lot of photo walks and other workshops also in Paris that I'm doing this year. Check out my whole calendar on my website. Mesdames and Messieurs, I will see you in another episode of my YouTube channel.